The sun has sunk, the shadowy night is raining in the room. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to have a quick discussion today about another side effect we will see in those who ate the brain fruit from the Tree of Knowledge. This idea comes from a quick shot we saw in the episode 8 trailer, and I want to see if you all agree with me on this. Let's jump into it. If you like this video and want to see more about Raised by Wolves, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all the latest on this show and more. Okay, so we know what happened to Mary after she opened the seed pod. She sang the pod open and the seed embedded itself into her, causing her metamorphosis into the tree of knowledge, which was then the key to evolving number seven into a weaponized necro serpent. Number seven went wild for the brain fruit, and he's not very good at sharing, but we did see several people within the camp eating the fruit before mother took it all away. One of the people who ate the fruit was little Vita. Don't eat it. Oh, it could be poisonous. Vita told mother she feels fine and she looked fine, but we still don't know what effects the fruit will have on people. Paul and Marcus had a goal of using the fruit to convert non-believers to soul, but we did not get a chance to see the side effects on the atheists who chowed down on the brain fruit yet. In the episode 8 trailer, there is a quick shot of Vita picking up a small seed pod. That looks like a rough morning. Anyways, no one at all knows how Mary opened the pod before. However, there are others who know the magical Mithraic lullaby amongst the atheist camp. Remember this? The sun is sunk, the shadowy night is raining in your room. I want to bring up another idea that is well within this realm of discussion. This show is riddled with Garden of Eden imagery between the serpent, the brothers, a garden in paradise, and the tree of knowledge. In the Garden of Eden, there was the tree of knowledge of good and evil, but there was also a second tree, the tree of life. The tree of life represents God, while the tree of knowledge represents the serpent and Satan. I have found there are many characters in this show with meaning behind their name. Lamia, Marcus, Mary, Paul, Hunter, and now Vita. What does Vita mean? It means life. So little Vita ate from the tree of knowledge and now we see her with a little pooped out seed pod of her own and she's the only person amongst the group with the knowledge to open it. Is Vita about to become the tree of life? And knowing how devastating the results were when number seven ate the tree of knowledge, will we alternatively see the tree of life become sacred? a holy place, guarded and revered. The Tree of Life, or World Tree, is an archetype across many world mythologies, and its contrast to the Tree of Knowledge is prevalent in this circumstance. There is extensive information about the tree throughout many cultures going back thousands of years. Often, the Tree of Knowledge and the Tree of Life are melded in ideas in myth. The two trees concept is more present within Christianity, with the tree of knowledge being portrayed as evil while the tree of life is holy. We can see the setup for this idea with the serpent being connected to the knowledge tree and a human child connected to the life tree. It is worth pointing out that in the new intro for the show, it looks like we are shown the root systems for two separate trees. I think this is going to be a major twist for the last episode in season two. There has been a ton of foreshadowing towards this idea throughout the season, and it's going to take something wild and crazy to top everything that's already happened. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think we will see Vita transform into a second tree? How do you think number seven will respond to another tree? Are the trees a way for the serpents to destroy the planet or another way for number seven to evolve even further? Be sure to subscribe to the channel as we finish up season two of Raised by Wolves and hit that notification bell for all the latest videos. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Where's mother? She can make it stop.